You know, it's been a while since we've done a rare bison hunt here on White Rhyme Ridge, and it's one of the few things that I haven't yet gotten, and I really, really want, and the thing that bothers me the most about it is that, in theory, it shouldn't be that difficult. Bison are huge. They are nearly in direct contrast with the color of the map, and the map is very open. So you would think, if you just did enough runs, eventually you'd run into one. I've been doing runs for three years and have yet to run into one. I don't have a thousand bison kills, so to be fair, it's not like I've shot a ton of them. But I have certainly seen a ton of them, and none yet have been rare. So we're going to do the same strategy that we normally do. Just sort of a back and forth weaving across the map, trying to cover as much ground as possible. 9.3 for Sitka, Doll Sheep, and Moose. And the crossbow for the bison, since you can run right up to them and at least stay a little quieter using that and we'll see if somehow we can get lucky enough to finally get our rare bison in a video when we're actually searching for it which is unlikely because anytime you actually search for any kind of rare you don't tend to find it but you never know it could happen go ahead and start with this guy though hopefully anyway that works not a bad start that guy should be 70s anyway double lung at 210 meters as well not bad, 72. Lower end, but a decent buck nonetheless. Okay, that's just cool. I love those little, like, somewhat realistic moments. Just a deer, like, peeking between the little hill there and the tree to get a look at me. Those are the types of things that I really enjoy about both uh, this game and the Hunter Call of the Wild, but unfortunately, even though it was cool, you gotta die, buddy. I did not mean to shoot him in the neck. That was pure luck. I'm not sure, but I do somewhat think the bison spawn runs along with the Sitka spawn. I think if you got a good Sitka spawn, you get a good bison spawn. I could be wrong. Um, I'm sure everybody knows by now I don't play this game as much as I used to, so I might be forgetting things, but there was actually not a moose down in the area where we started, which there has been pretty much every time I've done this run. And that usually does indicate a moose spawn. So fingers crossed that we have a lot of bison. Because I certainly think having a lot of bison would increase the chances of having a rare bison out here somewhere. Right in the neck though. 43 score. Monster. I am so glad I'm spotting that moose now. Max weight. I would just follow that blindly just in case he's big. And would have been very disappointed to find that. But we do have our first bison here as well. A... Big female, 9 to 105. Seemingly alone, which... I don't know if that's good or bad. Guess it doesn't really matter. It's uh, a finite population on the map, so... I guess, if anything, it would be better for them to be together, because more of a chance of seeing a rare in a herd than as a solo. So... If you could just kindly kind of run at me, that would be great. Come on. Come on. Wasting everybody's time. Oh, I messed that up. It'll be a lung and into the intestines, though. That's a bug, by the way. Oh. More bisons on the hill. She's dead there. But as I was saying, that is a bug. For some reason, if you get, like, lung and intestine on a bison, it'll actually show intestine blood. Usually it shows, like, whatever was the better hit on most species. I'm not sure why the bison do that, but you can pretty much know from the angle we shot. If we got intestine, it had to go through a lung to get there. Through a lung and everything else, 103 score on that. I think that was nearly the max estimate. And one of these was actually decent. Obviously, that guy, he's way bigger than everything else. Or no, it's not even him. Where's the other one? There's another, like, heavy bison... That had a better score estimate up to 120. That's him. And he's coming to meet us. Alright, let's not get run over. I don't even know if I have medkits. That would have been something to consider. Alright, screwed that one up slightly less. Usually if their estimate goes into the 800s, they could be decent. I wouldn't put this guy above like 115, but... Ah, maybe. 814 weight's not bad. Yeah, 112. They're so difficult to judge because they all almost look the exact same, but it doesn't really matter if it's not a rare fur variation. It's not really what I'm looking for. 
Oh, I had a big estimate on that one back there. Up to 900 kilos. As long as we don't mess this up. They should have no idea that we're even shooting this one. Can you, like... Can you, like... There you go. I gotta back way up. Nope. Please, nope. Don't, 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 don't. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's take a look. Alright, I have four. I could afford to get yeeted by a buffalo, but I, I don't want it. A bison, even. It's both. And also, neither. But, ah, 789. 112 again. Why not? Alright, one of these should actually be a big boy. I don't know which one I spotted that went up to 900 kilos, but that's usually a pretty good bet when you get that high weight estimate. There he is. Oh, 115 to 130. I usually don't get the score estimate going up to 130 either, so that's a good sign. I didn't get a good look at his horns. I think, yeah, it's the kind that go a little more straight up. When they curl inwards, I think that's usually a sign that they're smaller. I mean, those kind of do, but not as much. I'm not sure. Maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about. I might just be wishful thinking that this guy's big. He looks decent, though. Like I said, the weight estimate is usually a good sign. Sometimes they do get really heavy and still score low. But I can't say I've had any be lighter and score high. Hey. All right. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, 871 kilos. 124.178. I don't know if that's bigger or smaller. I just had a 124 as my personal best a few days back. But we've got ourselves a nice kill. I think I might even just stay standing up for this picture. Not too bad. All right. I'm not going to mount that yet. I got to go see what the decimal half of the 124 we shot a few days ago was. And more bison calling. I think I may have been right about the... Uh, high bison spawn. So hopefully I'm right about... Oh, oh god. Ah, I thought that was a mountain stick. It's a cow moose. This game, it trolls me so hard. You're a little smarter than the others. I actually charge him from a distance. I don't have to run five feet from me and back up. Although you took forever to get started. Did I mess that up again? Yeah, a little bit. They stand there just long enough to get your crossbow reloaded. So had I started reloading immediately and not stayed scoped in for a moment, she would run like just as I start to bring my crossbow up again. It's a huge troll. But that's weird. I feel like that shot's actually less organs than the other we had that happen, and she ran uh, less distance, which doesn't really add up, but not complaining. I thought there was a bison right in here by these rocks somewhere. Oh, yeah, hi. There definitely was. Is. Both. I don't even know where that one was. Oi. I think we only got lung on that one, so she'll run a little further. Or a lot further. All right, now, if I'm right, this thing is going to die right when I get by it. I swear there is a thing where, like, their death counter speeds up when you get near them. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but it just feels like, especially with the bison, right when I get up to them, regardless of where I hit them, they'll die within like five seconds. I don't get it, but it actually somewhat makes sense, I guess. I always kind of wonder how many rare bison I've been near, or even how many have called to me and I've been too busy chasing something else, or maybe it was a female, so I didn't even bother. But I'm certain I've had like multiple opportunities. Okay, this is, I guess, uh, right. Which one of you is going to... There we go. Alright, that didn't even work. I'm going to need a gun for this one. Hi, how you doing? Well, I'm not even going to shoot that. Don't want to mess it up. Don't need to be tracking stuff back the way I came from. Actually, the first shot would have been okay. We got a lung and liver and stuff. Thought we were a bit too far off to the side, but... Killed her quicker anyway. This guy's got a chance to be halfway decent, 110 to 125. That tree's going to cause him to do weird things, isn't it? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I'm just sticking that in his lungs. I could have tried to go for spine, but if I missed it, then it's just not fun. He stood there long enough. He should be dying any second. I'm nearly certain that went through both. Oh, yeah. He really didn't go anywhere. 
All right. So, 782 kilos, upper end of that weight estimate. Eh, 117. Not too bad. If we didn't already have a 124, I would definitely have trophy shotted that. Man, another diesel one. 110 to 125. If I was in search of the biggest bison ever, this would be a lot more of a successful hunt. I mean, already the 124 was pretty much making the hunt for me, regardless of whether or not we do drop a rare, but there is no shortage of quality bison even on this map. This will be at least, I think, the fifth one that maxed at 125 or higher. Uh-oh, 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 okay. Uh, crossbow bolts are recommended in order to shoot the crossbow. Hi. All right, I don't think that was a very good hit. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Wow, that's great. Eh, killed him anyway. That was a ton of clicking to get very few shots fired. Didn't have bolts in the crossbow to begin with, and then not a second round in the 9.3. That was good again anyway. I'm wasting shots. 112 on him, though. There's a probably monster. 120 to 135 and a good weight. Got to shoot this one first. This is our end destination. So somewhat fitting that there's... Pretty much guaranteed to be a good one, even if he's not the best one waiting for us here. Can you please not... I mean, this is one of those weird... Why are you going over there? The distance was just awkward to try to get far enough away that it wouldn't be able to get me. But, unless something renders in or there's something hiding behind a tree or a rock, it would appear as if, in terms of the getting a rare bison, we have failed. But, I'm actually quite happy with the way this hunt has gone. Yeah, I'm not seeing any rare bison looking creatures out here. Go ahead and pick up this one quickly. Double lunged it at 5 meters. 51. And why are you guys trying to get in my way? Actually, really doesn't matter where... That's it. We'll just... Do a quick double tap with the 9.3 and we should be fine. Can you stop again? No? I don't know if that second shot hit. He turned on the turbo boosters. Yep, oh, he died. Alright. Someday. Someday we'll get a rare. I actually, as far as I know, I've got two rares on this map. A Melodistic Bull Moose and a Piebald Cow Moose. That one was on stream. So, in all of my hours of running around the map, I really have not had much luck with rares. I've gotten a lot of nice animals. I mean, two 124 bison, maybe three by the time we picked this guy up. My biggest moose was 235 here. I've had a, a top 10 leaderboard doll sheep here. Uh, top 5 leaderboard Sitka. I've had a lot of luck with trophy animals. I've just never had the luck with the rares, and of course, that is what I actually want. So, as I said, someday, it's bound to happen. I actually, every time I go out here as well, I think of the possibility that I could be running around looking for a rare bison and just see a massive moose in the distance that happens to be a rare. That would be the dream, but anyway. It looks like somehow we got an test, and we were kind of far back, actually. This is the highest score estimate I've seen on a bison, so... Fingers crossed that he could maybe even beat what we shot earlier. If I could pick him up. Decent weight. Ah, 122.9. Not bad, though. Two 120s in the same hunt is not a bad result. I cannot complain about the way that hunt's gone. Even though we didn't get what we wanted. That is some pretty quality animals. I'm just going to go with that. That looks... That's a perfect face. That is just gorgeous. All right. So, as said, no rares. But a good hunt. I hate this. See how his horn doesn't... Whoa. Okay, let's not do that. See how his horn doesn't connect? That's what bothers me about the bison. Uh, like the trophy ones. That's actually one of the other reasons I want a rare, because the trophy ones don't look as good when their horns aren't actually touching their head. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.